Hey everybody, it's Saturday, January 7th, 2023, and this is Cafe Devo, coming to you almost live, courtesy of First Congregational Church at the point of Saginaw and Washtenaw Streets, right here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, that's my pal Bugsy hanging out over there in the corner, and I hope your Saturday is going well. And before we move on to today's devotion, we do want to send out birthday wishes to one of the ladies of our congregation. Michelle Glass. Hey, Michelle, it's your birthday. All of us here at First Congregation Church wish you and your entire family a great day. We wish you a happy birthday and we all love you. And all together we say, Happy Birthday! Turn once again for our devotional thoughts to the book Truth for Life, second edition. It was written by Pastor Alistair Begg and is copyright 2022. Good book, company. John 17, 17. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. Post-enlightenment rationalist materialist culture. Well, what a mouthful. It has cooked up all sorts of enticing solutions to humanity's greatest questions and dilemmas. We're told that science has already delivered a death blow to religion, and any talk of God or the Bible is dismissed as superstition of a bygone era. The Christian faith is regarded as a leap into the dark, a leap into intellectual oblivion. One of the greatest challenges to faith in Christ, then, is whether we will take God at his word and be satisfied with what he says. In our cultural milieu, it's good for us to periodically ask ourselves, do I believe the Bible? Am I actually prepared to trust what it says? We can have confidence in the testimony of Scripture for all kinds of reasons. We can consider the undeniable integrity of the manuscripts, the uh, historical reliability down to the details of its claims, or even the way it has engendered faith across cultures for well over 2,000 years. But there's actually a reason that's even more fundamental than these or other defenses we can muster. The most essential reason we submit ourselves to the authority of Scripture is because it is a necessary consequence of our submission to the Lordship of Christ. Our Lord Jesus believed the Bible. Therefore, so do we. He acknowledged the authority of God's Word. Therefore, so do we. In his high priestly prayer on the night before he died, Jesus prayed to the Father, sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. I read that at the beginning. Notice that there are no qualifications here. According to Jesus, God's word simply is truth. So then the pressing question becomes, do I believe Jesus? And if I believe Jesus, then I believe the words he spoke. Therefore, I accept what he taught about the scriptures. Therefore, I embrace the Bible just as he did. If you have tasted and seen the goodness of Christ, then refresh your resolve today to cherish God's word every day. In our confused and conflicted world, nothing will steady your life like the truth of Scripture. Now, there are going to be those that are going to say it's just too great a leap to believe the things that the Bible says. But the truth is, when you read Scriptures in faith, It is God's word that you are reading, and every word is true. You'll find them to be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Now, Father, we thank you for your love and your grace this day. We thank you, Father, for all that you've blessed us with and for the truth of your word. Give us a hunger and a thirst for your word, Lord, and thank you for what we've learned from you here today. Bless us with your presence and your guidance, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Saturday edition of Cafe Depot. I hope you're having a great weekend. 
I'm Pastor Steve Wood, and I'm out of here for now. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.